Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Samuels. This is John from Lakeshore V Center. I'm gonna be walking around today to show you some of the basics on your new Arctic Wolf 3550. One of the first things we wanna do is right up in front here, we've got this red switch. This is a battery disconnect switch. We have to make sure we turn this to the green position like it is right there. That gives us 12 volt power to the rest of the coach. We've got a new 12 volt deep cycle battery. If for whatever reason, we're not getting power to that, always check your fuses and those little green holders right there. That right there is your controller regulator for your solar panel. Front lights for the front of the cap. We're gonna go around to the side here to turn on the power to our jacks. That's how we operate that, turn that on here. This allows us to scroll through the various functions. This controls the up and down of our jacks. And this is step-by-step -step instructions on how to work that. We do provide you with the 50 to 30 amp adapter, as well as the sewer hose and the 30 to 15 amp adapter that all comes with it. On the outside of your docking center here, your fresh water fill, your black tank flush, and your city water connection. Hot, cold shower right here. We have an on-demand hot water heater. You do have to make sure that that little white switch is turned on so that will function properly. It's also a good, good idea to make sure you keep the little ones away from these burners as they can get hot over a period of time. When you go to empty your tanks, there's your discharge and waste right down there. Your three inches, your waste, your inch and a half is your gray. We've also checked your lug nuts on your tires. It is a good idea after the first 250 miles to make sure that those are tightened again as they can become loose. This is your 25 foot 50 amp power cord that comes with it. This is where you connect to it in the back. Again, we gave you those adapters to convert down. Your bike rake rack back here. You just fold that down, pull the pin if you wanna use that. Okay, let's walk you around to this side and then we'll go inside. Wonderful outside camp kitchen here on this. Absolutely beautiful outside camp kitchen. Ice maker, stove. Quick connect gas line, that of course connects right here, right below where the sticker is indicated. Up front here, we've got your auto changeover valve. You notice this is green. That means we've got propane in through the lines. Whichever direction this is turned is the tank it's drawing from. So if it's turned that way, it's gonna be drawing off that tank. If it's turned the other way, it'll be drawing off this tank. Green just indicates you do have propane running through the lines. Let's walk inside, show you how to operate the other things. Okay, down here at the bottom, we've got your fuse panel. Push that, that opens up that cover. You've got your 110 breakers. Everything's marked and labeled. Your 12 volt fuses right there. Central vacuum system, your floor sweep right there. Motion sensor lights throughout. Your keypad or main control center here, if you wave your hand in front of that, it's motion activated. These control the in and out of our slides, the in and out of our awnings, interior lights to turn our interior lights on. Our water pump shows you the condition, how our tanks are empty. This turns on the power to our hot water heater, allows us to adjust the temperatures up and down. This is our control for our uh, furnace and air conditioning. You select the mode that you wanna be in, fan, snowflake, Appears that's air conditioning, set the desired temperature, that air conditioning will kick on when you want to go to furnace, push again, the wavy lines indicate furnace. But you want to shut it off, push it again, and that'll shut it all off. Motion sensor lights here. Ground fault plug is right there. That little green light indicates that's functioning properly here. You do have an air conditioner up front here. So keep in mind, there's an additional thermostat right there. Okay. Your keys are located around your kitchen faucet. That's a furnace intake right there. That's what you're hearing that noise. Your controls for your refrigerator are all located on the front of the door here. Simply tap that and then you can adjust the temperature up and down. When you go to operate your stove, make sure your cover's folded back, rotate the dial with a little flame and just use the spark igniter and that'll fire right up. If it doesn't fire up right away for you, don't be concerned. All that simply means is that there's probably air in the line and that'll get depleted and kick out. Turn on your fireplace, hit the control down there. You can adjust the color of the flames, the timers, and the temperature. To shut it off, you just hit the power button again and you're good to go. 
there is a power amplifier on your cable. You simply push that in, that little green light appears, and then you've got the amplification. And once again, your keys around your kitchen faucet. Make sure your table and chairs and everything is secure before leaving and closing everything up. You have individual light controls for your lights, or you have push button controls in the center of the light stop right those. You guys, this is John again from Lakeshore V Center. We do appreciate your business. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to give me a call. You can reach me at 231-740-6225. Thank you and have a great day.